Project Smile brings comfort and, of course, smiles to children facing life-threatening illnesses at both McMaster Children's Hospital and Sick Kids in Toronto. Chris Holden has been involved for about 20 years. We have some samples of the quilts that are made uh, through the organization. Chris, how many do you think you've, you've been involved in making over the years? Well, we make about 150 a year. A year? A year uh, amongst our volunteers. Wow. And they get taken to the hospitals and uh, yeah, I work in the QA end, quality assurance. So I handle a lot of them along with the two other people that are with me. Do yeah. you attach a little piece of paper that says inspected by Chris? No. No, no, like <laughs> no, no. but I, I'm very careful with inspection and <clears throat> our big quilts have labels on them. <clears throat> Excuse me, that just indicates that the quilts were made with love by Project Smile. How many volunteers? Uh, we started out at 10, we're now up to 50. 50 and, volunteers. And volunteers are always welcomed. We have lots of different stations that we work at because it's almost like an assembly line. We have some people that just do the tops. They bring their sewing machines and quilt, do the tops. We have others that have quilting machines or, or take quilts home to quilt. And then we have some people that do the pinning because our quilts have to be top, bottom, and batting has to be pinned together. Of course. In preparation of quilting. So, yeah. Uh, we're, we're like abduction line. <laughs> now, you mentioned, you know, bigger quilts, and this uh -huh. Spider-Man one would be an example of that, but we have some smaller ones yes. here. These are for the tiny children, I guess. The neonatal. The neonatal. Yes. Wow. yes. We were asked by the hospital if we could provide them two years ago, and uh, it's great because it gives us an opportunity to use up our scraps. We waste nothing. Little strips, as you see, get sewn in. Patches get sewn in. Uh, we waste none of our fabric. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it's a good feeling. Do you get requests from the hospitals or from the patients? Uh, well, the hospital uh, social worker actually contacts our contact and asks for certain quilts, uh, like princess quilts or superhero quilts or uh, car quilts. And when we get that request, then it's brought up at the meeting and the ladies go home, make the tops, bring them back. We put them together and then off she goes to deliver them to the hospital. And then the social worker also speaks to the family and children to see what their likes are. And once they find that, they bring in several quilts, the child chooses it, and it's theirs to keep, to take home with them. These sessions where you're putting the quilts together, third Monday of every month? Third Friday, third Friday of every, every month, month at Trillium United, uh, Linwell Road, uh, next to Ina Graffin. And uh, yeah, it's a great group of kid, uh, girls, and uh, yeah, we all love what we're doing. So, yeah. How do you uh, how do you fund these? Do, is, do do people contribute? Do you contribute? Is there a membership fee? No membership for fee. Um, we do. Some of our people contribute. Most of us, in some manner. Um, but we usually go to service clubs, send letters out to service clubs requesting donations and explain in our letter what we do. And I will come out and do a presentation because I don't mind speaking in public. And uh, you really, I think a lot of them don't know what we do so they don't respond. And uh, we're, we've been to um, flea markets, and, and not flea markets, but um, bazaars, right. and tried to promote it and so on. But again, um, you know, uh, I think it's a visual. You have to see what we do to... They're beautiful. To, they are. And, and they're, some of the, the designs these women think of, my mind can't even wrap around it. The color choices. I'm not really brave with... Ch give me a dress, I can figure out what a dress looks right. like. See a quilt, no, I can't figure out what it looks like. So I'm more the QA, because that's me. Typically, one of these big ones, what would it cost? Other than labor, I, I would imagine we can leave labor out of the question because you're giving the labor on your own, but what would it cost to put these together? I really can't give you that answer because a lot of our top fabrics, we get donations. For example, if someone has a relative who's downsizing, right, and uh, we use only cotton, and uh, they'll say, oh, could you use some fabric? They'll bring it in, we sort through, we keep what we can and what we can't. We donate to um, another worthy cause. And uh, so nothing gets thrown out. Uh, we, we just don't do that. So. How can people find more information about Project Smile? We do have a web page, uh, Project Smile Niagara. 
and um, they're welcome to come and visit, see how we do it, see what we do. Uh, any one of us will walk you around and explain things and show you uh, what we perform. Well, these are beautiful quilts. You're doing a beautiful thing, Chris. Thanks Thank for telling us more about it. Thank you very much for having me.